Hi, and welcome to the spring barley trials at Beale Farm. Um, about three, four weeks since we were last year, but as you can see, a lot's happened since then in terms of the way the crops developed on, like I said it would. Since we were last year, I'll just quickly scump some up the weather. We've had about 60 mils of rain. Some of that's probably occurred in one or two events, unfortunately, but it's certainly done a lot of good and we've got into the crops and there's enough moisture there now for grain fill. So where are the crops up to? Like I said at the last time, I was going to do an awn spray onto them, which is what I've done. I've done a fungicide spray onto them, really just to protect against any sort of late diseases, rhynchosporium, ramillaria, etc. And also to try and minimise the stress on the crops as well. And you can see that the crops not under a lot of stress there now. It's come through quite nicely. We've got the awns well out, the ears well out, sorry. Um, and yeah, they seem to have set grain nicely and they're quite a nice firm pickle in there as well. So hopefully with the sunshine on them, these awns and these leaves can sort of continue with the grain fill. Unfortunately, uh, the problem with the spring bodies is this year, as you can see, they're just a bit thinner than where I would like them to be. And that's really down to the dry weather we had earlier, is that the, the, they're lacking a tiller. So hopefully we'll get some good, big, plump grains, which will make up the yield a bit on that. But, you know, long way to go until harvest yet. I was indicating a very early harvest. Um, what's going on in the winter crops? Yeah, that's, that's coming to fruition. Winter crops, we've got uh, winter barleys. Uh, we're starting to sort of see them brackle over now. And I think within the next week to 10 days in this part of the world, we'll probably start and see winter barley harvested. Rapes are hanging on. Obviously, rapes are hanging on nicely. Wheats, we seem to have got on top of the yellow rust at last. And wheats are looking like they've got a decent bit of promise again about them. They've got some moisture into the bottom of them. They've been getting some good radiation to get that, uh, to get that grain fall that we desire. So that's what we've got going on around here. Um, obviously, there's uh, further south. I'm hearing that there's some combines rolling. So we're going to move over to our southern supply chain manager, Rob, and see what he's saying about harvest. Thank you, David. My name is Rob. I'm the southern supply chain manager for Simpsons at the Tibbetts Hall site in Norfolk. And we thought we'd try and do something different and explain what's happening down here in Norfolk and East Anglia with barley this year. Similar to you up north, we've had some weather issues. It's been statistically the driest spring in a century. March, April, May saw some of these crops have less than an inch of rain. Um, and as you can see, I'm standing a crop of spring barley here. Uh, it's doing okay, considering the amount of water we've had, but we're certainly concerned about what quality we might end up with. This particular crop of spring barley is laureate. All our, all our spring barley for the Tivertal site is laureate. Uh, this crop in particular was a uh, February sown crop behind a cover crop, um, grazed off by sheep. It's been badly affected by the drought. Uh, ear populations are low and there's almost some second growth now appearing. I think what we're going to see down here is yield is going to be significantly impacted by what so soil type we're on. And I think that will then dictate what yields and probably quality we get. I would say that the ear numbers being so low, the ears that are here are actually pretty decent. So I'm hoping that we get certainly the indications it would be low, low screenings would be an early guess. David mentioned that the combines will soon run up north. They're already starting down here. We've now started to see, so the, today's the 1st of July. We saw some crops being cut yesterday. Very early indications, almost on day two, so we've got to be careful what we predict, but certainly nitrogen levels are lower than we anticipated. A lot of us are thinking we're gonna see low yields and high nitrogens, and, and so far we've seen lowish nitrogens. Um, we've also seen relatively low screenings, which would be what we're kind of thinking about low ear numbers. Uh, Yield-wise is all down to, I've heard some crops under five and above seven, all depending how, what's, how what the soil type is going to be like. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, if I'm honest, I'm pleasantly surprised so far, but this is, as I say, this is day one, so we'll see where we get to. So, so yeah, so in, in two or three weeks time, we'll come back to these trials again. You can see I'm stood in front of a variety SY Arrow, New, new kid on the block. Looks as though it's got a lot of promise. It's, his figures are showing good yield and everything like that. So we'll run through the varieties myself and Laura and maybe he's come back and uh, look at the varieties and talk through them in a bit more detail. The Laureates, the Diablos, obviously the good old Golden Promise and run through some of the more promising candid varieties that are probably coming to the light.